Oh, hey, YouTubers. What's going on? It's uh, welcome back to the embassy, my fellow diplomats. This is your ambassador, Al, the ambassador of winning. And one big way we win is by doing a little bit of math. You know, you know me and my, my catchphrase is that one of, one of many. Uh, I have more fun in my spreadsheets than I do in my bed sheets. It's a gamer's lament. Uh, anyway, today we're having a quick video, quick look at Spider-Man Big Time. Hey, how are we getting them uh, from Raid Season Rewards? And how many we're getting? Uh, I want a seven star. He looks great. He looks like he might be really great in Dark Dimension 6. I saw some people with, uh, you know, three star uh, gear 18 Dark Dimension, uh, Spider-Man Big Time in Dark Dimension. The people are people are nuts. Kraken's going to crack him. So wh when are you getting one? When am I getting one? Remember, uh, here's the math. They gave us 10. Oh, boy. Thank you, Scoblay. Uh, and then it's based on raid season rewards paid every two weeks. You got to wait. Like, you hate FICA? Hey, whenever you get FICA in your paycheck, taken out, you know, same time you're gonna be getting your shards of Spider-Man big time. That's exciting. I, I personally have a three star now. Woohoo! Okay, but when are you getting an eight star? When are you getting seven stars? It's gonna be a while. So 800, 810 character shards total, 10 given to us, eight are left. Again, races and rewards, subject to change, could change, could always change. Right now, if they don't make any changes to the tiers and how the payouts and how it works every two weeks, here's how long it's going to take you to get a seven-star Spider-Man big time. People like me, uh, okay, well, my alliance is usually top 10, but if you're raid one every single time for the next 11 seasons, we got a round of 11 seasons, it'll take 21 weeks. Well, 22, okay, okay, okay. 22 weeks total. We've already had two go through, so 18 more weeks. Hey, no problem. Just another four and a half months. Just in time for Christmas. Okay. That's if your alliance is ranked one every single time. If you're not, it gets worse, it gets worse, it gets worse, it gets worse, it gets worse. To the point where, hey, I know most of you guys prior, maybe if you're watching the video, if you're outside the top 100, your best case scenario, let's say you're ranked 1%, but not top 100. Hey, only 32 short weeks. That's eight months from now. Hey, it's like Groundhog's Day. Maybe time, maybe time for Valentine's Day 2024. Uh, you can celebrate with a Spider-Man big time. Have a big time Valentine's Day. Hey, what if your alliance is down here in that 1125 category? It's going to take more than a year. Will Spider-Man big time still even be good then? You're going to want sevens? It will, will, it will it even matter? Will it even matter? Uh, and if your rank, if your alliance um, as a... Some community manager at one point said, well, maybe your alliance just sucks. Uh, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. But if you're in the bottom half of alliance when it comes to rate season rewards and you stay there and everything else stays the same, it'll take you until 2025 to get seven stars in this guy. You think Agatha was hard to get to seven stars. You think the Eternals were unavailable? Spider-Man Big Time is available at three star. For seven star, not actually available to you unless you're in a top alliance which hey i get it this game's always going to reward spenders over grinders but oh boy come on and yes i know for a brief time right now and a few other recurring instances you can core 800 cores for five shards of this character let's be honest though if you're the kind of player who is coring that much for that piddly amount of shards you're probably the kind of person who's in an alliance that's doing better than 2025 probably up here probably up here so it's a little bit crazy take a quick look at some lower stars how about just for six stars how about just six stars okay that's a little more reasonable this is 300 shards less fewer yeah oh boy it's still gonna take you a year to get six stars <laughs> if you're down here quicker uh, a fourth of a year half a year for even top five percent of the game to get them to six stars Good luck. Okay, it's gonna be a minute. Pause, take a screenshot. Okay, uh, five star, do the math real quick. Five star, all right. That's much easier. That's only uh, 310 charts. Yeah, okay, this seems okay. This seems okay, right? Just eight weeks if you're uh, in the top stud alliance and you're always there, which usually goes back and forth, honestly. Hey, it's only 30 weeks, only Again, you're in 2024. You can get a five star if you're hanging around at the bottom part of raid rewards. All right. So it's very possible that it could take you a long freaking time. So, hey, I'm so glad they gave us a free character and the free character is amazing. It's just going to take a long, a long time. It takes less time.
to get Mr. Negative from five shards a day <laughs> is a lot less time than kicking butt in raid rewards and getting Spider-Man big time. Crazy. If you want to give us a free character, Scopely, give us the free character. Come on, man. Now again, maybe four months from now, six months from now, they change it up. They're, I mean, they're going to change the racing rewards. It won't be in place for, you know, a year and a half. They make changes subject to change. But I just want to give you guys an idea of just how rough it is. And for those of you, you know, four star even, hey, not a big deal. But what's four star now? 180? 180. Yeah, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad. In 17 short weeks, you could have a four star. I've already got a three star. I'm up here. I'm in this. I'm in this. We'll be another five weeks in a month with four stars. Great. You can see four stars and five stars run around. If you see a six or a seven star rolling around, it's going to be a while before you see one, unless they cord their brains out, in which case, yeah, I'll probably see one in Crucible next week. Uh, that's how it goes. But in the meantime, I just want to give us a quick rundown. Spider-Man Big Time. It's available. It's free. It's great. I'm not complaining. Just if you're holding out for the big five, six, and seven yellow stars, not going to be able. So if you're worried about, oh, i got to save dark promo credits there to give them the five red star, six red star. Pump the brakes, Einstein. It's going to be a long time before you're actually given the five yellow or the six yellow. Uh, even at the top, it's going to be a while. So hang back, hang loose. The good news is it's a pretty good character at low, at low stars. The bad news is we're all going to have him at low stars for a long time. All right. So anyway, that's the pros. There's the cons. That's what's happening. Make, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. We'll have more of these quick hitters. Join us on twitch.tv slash Ambassador Al. Give it a thumbs up. Hey, even a thumbs down. Any kind of comments are welcome, uh, even the bad kinds. Whatever. Any feedback is good join up again subscribing on youtube is free hope you have a good time out there remember the rules of gaming here on the in the embassy winning beats losing losing beats not playing because as long as you're playing you can keep winning so our our goal here stay playing and stay winning see you guys next time love you